Hey guys, Bizarro Productions here, and this is my third or fourth movie review. I can't remember which one, but basically, I'm gonna be reviewing Wonder Woman 2017. I am by myself this time, so Super Swag Guy is not with me. Same type of thumbnail, same type of concept. We're gonna, I'm just gonna be reviewing of the movie. So, uh, one quickly thing I have to say before I start is that I'm doing this unscripted. Why? Because I feel it flows better with something like this. I don't want to write out a script. I just want to give out my thoughts on this. So, if you're not, if you don't like this type of uh, format, then just tell me that you don't like it, and I'll probably maybe do a scripted one in the future. So, yeah, if you really want to see a scripted one that bad, you can just comment that. So, history on Wumber Wumber Woman, Wumber Woman, history from of Wonder Woman from my perspective. I can't really relate because I've never seen a Wonder Woman movie or episode, but basically, I this is the, really the first time I've actually sat down to sat down to watch a Wonder Woman film or anything. So, yeah, the only thing I can really say that was kind of related to Wonder Woman was uh, Batman v Superman. I think it was. It's probably not that movie. I don't remember what it was. It might be. I don't know. But it was that movie where they had like the picture and they explain what the whole picture thing is in this movie. I'm pretty sure it's Batman v Superman. But yeah, so that's really all I have to say on my history on Wonder Woman because I have nothing else to say about it. The intro for the movie, you start off, the movie starts, and it's really, really different than what I would have expected. It's kind of like, uh, what's it called? Thor. It kind of feels like a Thor movie. And throughout the movie, that changes drastically. Let me just uh, go into that later. But yeah, the intro was subpar at best. It could have been better at times. Definitely could have been better at times. And at most times, it was just, eh, it's okay, nothing special. The theme of World War One was a pretty good theme in my opinion i i thought it was world war ii at actually you know through i've never when i was watching the movie i never once thought it, it could have been world war one but it was world war one so yeah I, I did not think it was world war one i thought it was world war two but guess what it was world war one so i was caught off by that but still it's kind of yeah i still like the concept that they went with the whole world war where like it's very sim very similar to Captain America, where they have like this superhero actually like be a part of the of like big wars. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But I really like the theme. And yeah, so I'm just gonna be going into the next thing. The comedy in this movie was comedy gold. I am totally not being sarcastic, but I am. The comedy in this movie was in my opinion you may have a different opinion that's fine i thought that the comedy in this movie was pretty terrible now the thing is that when they made a joke in this movie i fully understand i fully understood the jokes that they made in this movie but when they're just make um uh jokes that i just find kind of cringy they're just like Everyone else in the theater is like, ha, funny, funny meme, funny. And I'm just sitting there like, what? How is this funny? Maybe I'm just, maybe they're just not like appealing to me. That's probably what it is. But I just didn't really find it too funny. And because I didn't find it too funny, that led to a lot of cringy moments. And the cringe, the cringe was unreal. Let me tell you, the cringe in this movie was like... It wasn't all the time, but when there was cringe, it was like amplified cringe. It was, it was just, there. this movie at times was just so much cringe. And why though? Because like I would have expected a company like DC could have tried to avoid this. I guess it's just me and other people definitely just don't find it cringy. But especially like right after the, the main beginning part. That's where the cringe starts to get kicked up to a whole new level. And the ending, the ending, oh. 
the ending was, in my opinion, horrible. The basically, the the reason I hated the ending was because I really liked, as I already stated, the, I really liked the World War One theme or World War Two, whatever, and I just found it so weird that at the end they just dropped that. They completely removed everything. Well, they didn't remove everything about World War One, but pretty much they just involved complete Thor. Everything about Thor got kicked up in the ending. So it didn't really feel like World War One anymore, which is kind of sad because, that, as I stated, that's the best part of this movie. So that was sad. The ending wasn't horrible or anything. Definitely could have been better, but still, you gotta do what you gotta do. And yeah, that's really all I can say without spoiling anything. Basically, this movie overall, it was good, but the thing is, they missed so much opportunities that it almost makes the movie seem bad because they missed countless opportunities. It just makes it feel like they weren't trying at times. At a lot of times, it felt really high quality, but most of the time just felt like Captain America bootleg, or like, yeah, it's just not, not, nothing, nothing special, so why, why bother? So, what am I gonna give this? Out of 10 as a rating, I would say that this movie barely, like, literally very, like, on the edge barely made it to a 7 out of 10. So 7 out of 10 is what he gave this movie. It was so close to being a 6, but I'm like, you know what? They did a lot of things right. They did a lot of things wrong, but still, just because, you know, they did plenty of things right, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and actually give them a good review. That probably made no sense at all because I am tired and I'm doing this unscripted because... You know what, I just f think it'll flow better for this. If you don't like it, okay, tell me that you don't like it in the comments. So I'll just be like, okay, I'll change it next time. But now this is how I like my content for movie reviews. And it's going to stay this way for a while. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with other people on social media. And see you.